Hello everybody, it's Queen of Light 1111. Hope you're doing well. This is your Thursday Twin Flame Energy check-in um, for the collective. And boy, we got a doozy of a reading today, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Um, and just to remind you guys that if you wanna book your own personal reading with me, go to queenoflight1111.com. Um, and I'm happy to work with you on any service or reading that you purchase. Remember, my new, well, not so new anymore, but my um, latest service that I added, which is the um, Twin Flame Blocks Reading and Healing Session. That is the only session that I'm asking that you do not book first, that you send me a picture first. But again, be prepared to first have already gone to my website to read the description of the service and check everything out before you send me a picture, okay? And uh, once I approve um, that I would work with you on that healing, then um, go ahead, you have 24 hours to book the service, okay? So um, I, I've been doing the healing sessions and they've been going really, really great. It's just been very interesting. Um, and it's been helpful to several several clients. I've gotten so many emails back about how things have shifted in their energy, the energy of their masculine, and how they feel like they've actually moved to a different phase in their connection. So, um, you know, this this is a journey of healing. This is a journey of ascension and progress. It is not a journey of staying stuck. It is not a journey of not moving forward. And so um, I'm happy to offer that service to those who are a vibrational match and where I see that the energy um, and the session could be helpful to the person who's seeking out the assistance. If I see an energy within the picture that I receive, that is one where I do not need to be getting involved because clearly the person is either learning a lesson or is in a karmic lesson or there's an energy there that I am guided not to touch, then I will respectfully decline um, your request to have that session, okay? Now, remember, that's the only session that I need a picture for. Other than that, do not email me directly. Just go ahead and book um, your service through um, the website, okay? So, and it's queenoflight1111.com. Um, today in my reading, we're using lots of different decks. I'm using four, eight, ten different decks, um, ten different tarot decks. So if you're interested in purchasing any of these, want to know what I'm using, go to the link in the description box, and my Amazon storefront is there, and you can purchase that, okay? Um, all right, let's go ahead and get started. I use the Chira Marchetti oracle deck so i'm actually using four eight ten eleven oh isn't that interesting eleven different decks ten tarot one oracle so we have the theme of the connection the theme for the masculine today and the theme for the feminine today so first card out the theme for the masculine today look at this this is like a woman in like funeral clothes with a message and a rose and some very very dark birds okay um, and so this is a, an energy I'm really getting. His theme is that he was either, he was told goodbye. Okay. I really feel like this is not him saying goodbye. This is the feminine saying goodbye to him. So maybe you've sent a message to him. Maybe it's been an ed energetic goodbye, but this is certainly an energy of a farewell of a goodbye of a death of the connection for lack of a better word okay so when that card comes out specifically um you know it, it could be that the feeling feels very final like a very very final goodbye or it could be a goodbye for now right so this is like a you know until we meet again um but this parting this this separation this goodbye this farewell was absolutely necessary in order to lead to a better future. And so this very much is an energy here of, um, you know, there's like a sober expression. She has a sober expression and 
you know, and here, like, he doesn't, like, in, in this energy, and I've already done the check-in, so I already know what it is. I know that she's communicated it, but basically, this is suggesting a separation in the connection, okay? This is, could it be a final goodbye, a temporary one? I don't know. We don't know because I don't pull future cards anymore because this energy continu continuously changes. But right now, the energy of the connection is, the masculine theme is, he's, he's received whether a 3D message or a energetic goodbye from his um, divine feminine. And the clarifier to this is the Prince of Coins, which is interesting because she comes out in her clarifiers as the Queen of Wands. So right away, there's a disconnect. I'm happy to say he's not the page, right? It's not a page. He's the, he's the knight of a knight, a knight energy. And so, but it still shows me that they are not in alignment today. So when this card comes out in the Lover's Path Tarot, this is about hard work. This is about doing the work. And she energetically said goodbye because he wasn't doing the work. He wasn't doing the work in the connection. He wasn't doing the work um, on himself with his spiritual growth. And so this is an opportunity for him now that she has said goodbye to work on himself, to develop himself, to become the king, to be a king, okay? And so this this is an energy of you can't be lazy anymore. You can't, you know, not take responsibility or 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 be lethargic towards this connection. She she's not having it. She's said goodbye. The energy for the feminine here is very she's very much in her queen power and 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 I'm not at all surprised. She's come up as the queen of swords, queen of wands, queen of pentacles, queen of cups, high priestess even, okay? Um, and so here in this energy for her, in this deck, this is about consequences. This is about risks. This is like she knew, like, you know, she did probably didn't want to say goodbye, but this is about choices. This is about risks and consequences. And, you know, this is a little bit of a pride energy too, okay? And so um, this, but, but pride in the sense that, you know, I'm, so, I'm worth so much more than what I'm getting. And so this here is also a card that is just like, you know, she's opening Pandora's box, right? She's like, she doesn't know if this walking away is going to be good, good die, like, like forever, or is it a lost opportunity? Because she doesn't know what she's going to get. She doesn't know what the consequence of her action is yet. All right. But she knows that she needed to grow and she knows that she needed to avoid stagnation. So what did she do? She went into her queen of wands energy, which is I've got to take action because this is not going to work in the way that we have been handling ourselves in the past. It's just not going to work. OK, so um, at this time, she is in her queen of wands energy in her theme. OK. So now, as far as the connection is concerned, we've gotten this card before. Look at this. You have a man and a woman. You have the masculine and the feminine. You've got this photographic kind of contraption, this wheel of pictures and people and things and situations that have happened, and it's clarified by the sacrifice card. So when this card in this oracle deck comes out, this is really about, you know, there's plenty of people there. These are about relationships and interactions with others. But when something seems to be missing in your life, that person that's missing, it's not that thing that is missing is a person. And so this relationship has been defined by other people, by themselves, by family, friends, enemies, right? And uh, people entering their connection, entering their life. And this mechanical device is displaying all those people who have, you know, have like, played a part in this connection and so what's interesting is there's additional frames to be shown right but the person that's missing the people that are missing in this connection at this time are the masculine and the feminine they are missing from this connection at this time because she's gone her way he's gone his way all right and so what's what it's clarified by is the sacrifice card and i and i believe this is the death card in the lover's tarot the lover's path tarot and i'm sorry it's not the death card it's the hanged man so this hanged man's card this is all about surrender and patience and compassion you have to surrender being a part of each other's lives you have to surrender interaction at this time 
because this connection was at an impasse, it was not going anywhere. And they were just being caught between their two worlds. And their two worlds were not combined because he's in a knight energy, she's in a queen energy. And so it's just not a vibrational alignment. And so right now the sacrifice is this connection. The sacrifice is that we have to sacrifice this connection for a period of time because you know it's not it's not it's not matching up to what this potential could be it's not it's not in alignment they're not at the same page they're not um aligning vibrationally either all right so that is the theme for the um the reading today for him it's he's gotten the goodbye for her she's like wow now that i've done that what does that mean I, what action do i need to take for the connection it's very much that we have to sacrifice this connection at this time in order for movement forward bottom of the deck if this tells you anything more for this lover's path tarot is the eight of cups we are walking away we are walking away all right but remember, we're walking away to find our happiness, not to have more unhappiness. We're walking away to find our two of cups, to find our joy, to find love, to find peace. You cannot be in this energy of pain and heartache and sadness. You just can't. You can't. So what's the bottom of the deck for the head, heart, and environment for the masculine and feminine together? It is the solitude card, which is the hermit card, and blossoming abundance. In order for us to have abundance in this connection, we do have to go into the hermit's energy and part at this time, okay? Bottom of the deck, head, heart, and environment for our divine masculine is the nine of swords and the four of pentacles energy. He's very stressed, very stressed, and his anxiety, having sleepless nights. Look at this person that's coming through. This is the devil, uh, can you see it? This is the devil in this deck, okay? So this is like his every thought, his ego, everything is stressing him out. And he just cannot move. He cannot move. He's feeling very stuck in the Four of Pentacles energy right now. Where is the feminine in her head, heart, and environment? She's the magician and the Queen of Pentacles. She's like, I'm ready to manifest and ground happiness, success, positivity in my 3D environment. She is operating as the queen of pentacles at this time she wants balance all right let's go ahead and get started what's happening in the headspace of our masculine when he thinks about his feminine ace of wands and cornucopia passion ignited okay he's he's very much he has a little bit of a fire lit under him not a little bit a lot because she sent a message and now he knows he has to do the work in order to have his wishes fulfilled so when he further thinks about his divine feminine what is he thinking? Oh gosh. Hold on, sorry. My crystal fell and I can't have it on the floor. One second. Okay. So what is he thinking when he thinks about his divine feminine? So there's this new beginning. The fire is lit. He wants a passionate new beginning. He wants to, you know, have this cornucopia. He wants his wishes fulfilled, okay? So the first card out for him when he thinks about his feminine is this chariot card. He knows he's got to balance things out in order for him to move forward to the queen of swords, okay? She's she's very much showing herself in her environment as the queen of swords right now. And, and, she, and he knows it. That's how he's seeing her. If that's how she, what she's portraying in her environment, then that is how he's seeing her because there is no communication at this time. All right, so he wants to move forward to his Queen of Swords. I said, what about that? What does he want to do with the Queen of Swords? He wants to communicate, Eight of Wands. Look at this, guy is on a horse, right? Has crossed over the river, is on his way to something, all right? And so he very much wants to communicate. He wants to get back into communication. But Seven of Swords in his headspace, okay? This, he's sabotaged this, there's sabotage in this connection. There's been withholding of information, which has created loss, which has created pain. And that is in his headspace, Seven of Swords, right? I said, what is, what is he hiding? What is the Seven of Swords energy? Is his biggest burden? I said, what is he hiding? What is the biggest burden? Ace of Wands, which is a dupe to right out the gate what he wants. He, he doesn't know how to come forward again to have this new beginning with his divine feminine. He doesn't, because he knows he's sabotaged and now she's walked away, and so he's sad. He's sad, five of cups. What is he sad about? Eight of cups. That they're, 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 they've walked away from each other. Well, she's walked away. 
I said, what about this walking away? Where does he want to go? Knight of Cups. He wants to move forward and offer love now, right? Remember, Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands. I said, okay, so he's sad. She's walked away. He wants to move forward. His burden is that he, that he wants this new beginning and he's withholding that information. He wants to communicate it to her. Moon, another card of secrets, another card of the hidden energy, right? So when the Seven of Swords comes out with the moon in the same pile, uh, you know, things are hidden. Things are happening in the background. I said, what's happening in the background? Page of Wands. Again, another energy of communication. And so then I said, well, what about the communication? Four of Swords. So this is an energy of like there's retreat. There's retreat. There's pain. There's healing that's happening. That's what's happening in the background is that he's just so burdened by um, his own self-inflicted pain, his own self-sabotage, and he sees his feminine walking away from him, and it, it doesn't feel like any kind of walking away like before. It feels like a very different type of walk away, okay? It feels like, whoa, this time she's really done with me, and I don't feel like, you know, he's ever felt that type of energy from his feminine that she's walked away in this energy before, and so now... You know, we've been getting eight of wands for him a lot with the page of wands in his headspace. He wants to communicate. So if any of you feminines are having this burning feeling in your throat, like even a lump in your throat, your masculine wants to say something. I don't feel like you want to say anything. I feel like you've already sent the message. You've already communicated what it is that you're thinking, feeling, wanting, and you're like, I'm out, was, was the communication. And so that has really lit that fire for him to start doing his work to elevate, to be the king, okay? So in her headspace, what does she have? She's like, this is seven of cups with indecision. She just doesn't, she's, she's like wanting to make choices, move forward, but she's very unsure which path to take right now, all right? She's made the decision to walk away, but now she's kind of like, now what? Now what? I've walked away. Now what path am I going towards? So let's get into it a little bit more for her. So what path is she walking towards? Okay, so she wants to choose wisely, but she's not sure what which path to choose. So first card out, Eight of Wands, right? Matches his Eight of Wands. So this is an energy of movement forward, communicating movement forward. So where is this movement going to? Ten of Cups. She wants to find her happiness. When she thinks about her masculine, she still knows that she wants to have this Ten of Cups with her masculine. And then here we have the Four of Wands. She wants stability. She wants union in the connection. But she feels like that is completed. I said, what is completed? Two of Pentacles. This imbalance. Her making the decision to leave and complete this connection, this incompletion of this connection has now created completion, if that makes sense. So this is this is like unrequited at this time. They're not matching, they're not coming forward to come into union. And so in her in her mind, you know, she's like, okay, this this is complete for me now. I've made the decision, it's complete. What's complete? This imbalance. She's no longer going to participate in an imbalanced connection. So she wants to move forward, chariot again, and he's got the chariot here as well. First card out for him. And so she wants to balance things out and move forward. Move forward into what? Three of Wands, manifesting. Remember, the bottom of her deck is manifestation. So what does she want to manifest? Three of Cups. She wants to manifest. I really feel like this this could be a lot of different things. This could be she wants to manifest just being happy, celebrating. The holidays are coming up in the United States, right? And so, you know, she probably wants to celebrate with her tribe. She wants to be happy. Does she also maybe want to manifest reunion? Perhaps. But it must be balanced for her to make that decision, which is why she's in this indecision. Because she's like, I walked away, but I still love him right? I've walked away, but I'm not cool with the imbalance, right? I've walked away, but I want to manifest happiness, perhaps union. And so in her final card for her headspace, she just wants victory. She wants to have success. Success over what? Being the best version of herself, eight of pentacles. She just wants success in being the best version of herself. Now what's happening in the environment of our, in our heart, in the heart space rather of the masculine? Three of cups, king of cups, He's in his heart space. He's been in his heart space a lot since she's walked away. So he wants to rejoice and celebrate too, just like she's got the three of cups there. And he wants to do it from his heart space. So 
So let's do, drill down further and see what's happening in his heart when he feels for his feminine. <clears throat> so in his heart space, eight of cups, right? He wants to come back together with her. He's in his heart space, but he sees that she's walked away and he's sad about that, right? Eight of cups. What else about the heart space? What are we walking what are we walking away from? Six of Pentacles. There's no longer an exchange in this connection. I said, well, then what does he want? Page of Cups. He wants to come forward with some sort of offer to come in and come together and have a lighthearted maybe discussion. And, you know, he's still working on himself. Eight of Pentacles. In his heart space, he knows he still has to work on himself and he has to be successful. Six of Wands. She got the same combination. If you didn't just see this, I just noticed it. She got Six of Wands, Eight of Pentacles in her head. And he got eight of wands, eight of pentacles. Okay, let me say this again slowly. She has six of wands, eight of pentacles in her headspace. And he has eight of pentacles, six of wands in his heart. Because that's where he needs to really do the work, right? In his heart space, he's, he's in his heart space. He wants to come forward. He sees her walk away. He wants to offer her love. And he knows he needs to continue to work hard and be successful, in continuing to open his heart if he's going to have the four of wands which she has in her headspace what about the four of wands it's clarified by the hierophant this couldn't be more of a union energy than you could ever get i mean you can get hierophant and justice that's union four of wands hierophant very much union okay so he's in his heart space he sees her walk away he sees that she's not exchanging energy with him he wants to offer her a cup but again, a cup he, she can't drink from, page of cups, has a fish in it. So he continues to work on himself successfully to have this union. But we're still at a stalemate. Two of swords, clarified by the magician. He, he still can't manifest. He still gets stuck. That's what's frustrating for her. She can't stay stuck anymore. So in her heart space, she's like, I'm done with the same old, same old. I'm done being in this separation because it's the same old, same old. This card says discontent and boredom. There's a lot of words, a little bit of night action from him, from the masculine energy, but not enough. And she's like, you know what? I'm tired. I'm bored. I'm bored of this energy. And this card, financial constraints, when it comes up in a love reading, it's about separation. It's about lack. It's about rejection, and that's what she's done. So in her heart, she's like, I got, I, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore because we continue to go around the same cycle, right? You, you give me a little bit of something, and then you stop, and then we stay stuck. And she's like, I can't stay stuck anymore. So what's happening in her heart space? She's healing, temperance. She's got to balance things out. She's got to heal. What is she healing? Seven of Wands, her defensiveness, her guardedness. What about it? Death card. She wants a change. She wants the death to this five of pentacles energy. She's done. She's done with the same old, same old about why they go into separation. And she's walking away. Eight of cups. What is she walking away from? Any movement forward in love with him. And then queen of wands. See, this is where she's like, yeah, I can't. We're in the same old energy. We're in the same old cycle of moving forward, going into a halted energy only to separate then come together again she's done she's like i'm walking away from this cycle and i'm the queen of wands with or without you i'm gonna be fine what about the queen of wands queen of swords she's also the queen of swords i said what about it tower and so i really feel like when i got this you know she's very she's not in her heart space and she's really trying to balance out the shadow of being cutting and this this fiery queen right she's really really in this tower's energy the universe is saying hey this is a journey of the heart this is journey of ascension this is journey of unconditional love and yes you needed to move away from him but don't get stuck in the shadow side of the queen of wands and queen of swords that's why here she's trying to nurture herself love herself ground herself and in her environment she's working very hard to get into her intuition and into her heart space again and so this is why it's the same old cycle with him, same old cycle. And we just saw it in his energy. I'm in my heart space. I want to come together. I'm sad that you're walking away. I'm working hard in my heart space to be successful. I want to marry you. I want to be with you. Boom, I'm stuck, two of swords. What are we stuck about? Manifesting. And she's like, yeah, I'm bored. I'm bored of the story. I'm bored of the story. But her work is she's got to get out of the shadow of the queen of wands and the queen of swords. 
So what's happening in the environment of the masculine? Well, look at this. Deception and envy, seven of swords again, door to romance. He saw this love and he knows he sabotaged it. He knows he sabotaged it, okay? And so uh, that's what's happening in his environment. He knows that he sabotaged the connection and it created the end, ten of swords, okay? This is pain and he, he knows it's over. What about the ten of swords? What is over? What is over the ten of cups? So I said, what about the ten of cups? with the empress. No, no, I'm sorry. This I did this the wrong way. So sorry, sorry, sorry. It came out this way. So I said, what is over? Ten of swords. Two of wands. What is over? This indecision, right? Two of wands is like, I'm on a crossroad. I don't know where to go, blah, 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 right? I don't know which path to take. Like she's done with the indecision here, right? She's in her headspace. So in his environment with the ten of swords, like he knows he sabotaged this connection and it's had an end. What's ended now? This indecision. He's no longer an indecision. Why? Because she made the choice for him. I said, what about this decision was the empress? I said, well, fine. What does he want now? Now he wants a ten of cups. Now he wants a ten of cups. So he spends all this time in indecision and in withholding that he wants her. And he has all these starts and stops. And now that she's like, bye, I'm done for real, for real. Now he's like, oh my God, I'm, I'm done. I, I know now. I know now what I want. I know now. That's the fire that was lit under him. So I said, all right, fine. So he, now he knows he wants a Ten of Cups. Okay, but then we go into Hanged Man again. So he's still he's still not ready, guys. He's still not ready. He knows that he wants her, but he's still in the Hanged Man's energy and it's clarified by Seven of Pentacles. Two cards of pause. Two cards of suspension. Two cards of going nowhere. Remember, Hanged Man is here in the connection. Sacrifice. So... This connection had to go into a period of pause in this environment, all right? And what else? Then we had the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords again. In this environment, he's in a lot of pain. But this to me right away was like, I feel like he knows he no longer wants to be single. He knows he no longer wants to be single. And that is his biggest burden. Now, Ten of Wands came up for him in his headspace, that he wants this new beginning, but it is his burden because he sabotaged it. The sabotage is here in his environment. So what is he going through? What he's going through in his headspace, he's going through in his environment too. He sabotaged this big, this connection with his feminine. It's his biggest burden today because what he wanted was a, was a passionate beginning with her. What he wanted was his wishes with her. And in his environment, he knows he sabotaged this love that it's over and that he wants the Ten of Cups. He's trying to get out of this period of pause because he knows he no longer wants to be single. And his biggest burden right now, not only that he sabotaged his connection, but he doesn't know how to come forward with the truth and make any, any kind of offer. Okay? So I said, hey, look, when you get too much seven, too many Seven of Swords and blah, 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 and she didn't come out as, as the Empress, I said, I need to know. So I got a whole other deck out. I need to know what the Seven of Swords is about. Bottom of the deck is the Empress. <laughs> so again, I'm like, okay, it sounds, sounds and smells like the feminine energy, but tell me, what the heck is the Seven of Swords and his environment? Because that is where I ask for the third party energy. I said, what is the Seven of Swords? I got Seven of Swords. So he was deceptive. He was withholding. What was, the, what was he withholding? Movement forward, Knight of Pentacles. About what? Coming together, Three of Cups. But I said, listen, this also could be third party. What is the Three of Cups? Queen of Swords. Who's the Queen of Swords? Our feminine here in the headspace. Who's the Queen of Swords? Here in her heart space. Who's the Queen of Swords? It's her in her environment. So I know that this is sabotage because you know what? He probably was like doing some shitty stuff. All right. He probably was. But who did he sabotage his connection with? Was the Queen of Swords. That's why she came out. That's why the Queen of Swords is coming out to play. I said, all right, fine. Queen of Swords. That's just, but I said, now I got to find out who the Empress is because I don't want to make a mistake. What about the Empress? Two of Swords. Remember, Two of Swords came out in his heart space where he wants this union. He wants to marry her, but he doesn't know how to manifest it. I said, all right. So things are at a standstill with the Empress. What about the Empress? Eight of Pentacles. He has to work hard. Remember, that's what he's doing here in his heart space. I said, all right, fine. What about the Empress? Queen of Cups. All right, so she's the Queen of Cups here. And I was like, okay. But I already know she's the Queen of Cups in her environment here. So the Empress is when she was in his heart, her heart space for him, which is what our feminine is working on doing here. So she's the Queen of Swords. 
she's the queen of cups. She's the queen of, of um, I'm sorry, she's the queen of swords. She is the queen of cups. And um, again, the queen of swords here in the environment. So what's happening in her environment as related to the max, masculine four of swords and walking away? She's walking away because she's just, she's got to stabilize. She's done with this discontent. She's done with the boredom. She's done with the, you know, um, unstable connection. So she's like, I got, I have to walk away for my own peace, my own sanity. I have to walk away from this connection. So what, or what is she further doing in her environment as related to her masculine? First card out, fool. She wants a new beginning, the fool card. She, she wants a new beginning. She just wants to start fresh, right? I said, what does she want to start fresh? And we got the high priestess. She's, she's looking into her intuition to make a good decision about which way she wants to go. I said, what about the high priestess, Queen of Cups? See, this is where she's getting into her heart space again. Because remember, here, she wants to move into, into love. Here, she wants to move into happiness. She, here, she wants to be the best version of herself. So she's going within going into her heart space so she can start fresh. This Queen of Swords energy, which she's embodying right now, is a big burden for her, Ten of Wands, okay? Remember, Ten of Wands here too for him. He doesn't know how to approach the Queen of Swords, right? So that's a big burden. I said, what's the burden? It's a burden that she needs to heal because I just feel like the Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, shadow energy that's in her heart makes her a little bitter, all right? And so what about it? She gets wounded. She's wounded still in her environment. That's why she's trying to heal this Queen of Swords energy, which is her biggest burden, and get back into her heart space. Because she's wounded. She, in her environment, she's dealing with wounds, and she just wants to be happy again. It's clarified by the Sun card. And then finally, Knight of Wands. She wants to quickly move into something long-term, something that she can build. And as related to her environment, that's what she wants too. She wants to be in her heart space. She doesn't want to be the queen of swords. She does want to be happy. She does want a long-term legacy. Remember, queen of cups came up here as the empress. She's the queen of cups here too. Queen of swords came up here in the environment as well. So that's how I know that because the queen of swords, queen of cups came out in the environment for the feminine, it is the feminine in the environment of the masculine. Let me tell you, if I got another queen or something else happening over here and it was clarified differently, then I would feel like a third party showed up. But we got the queen of swords, queen of cups in the environment of the masculine, and we got the queen of cups, queen of swords in the environment of the feminine. So I know it is the divine feminine here that is, um, that is in the environment of the masculine. So guys, it's, it, it is challenging. It is challenging. I really do feel like there is a separation at this time. I really do. So you can either take that or leave that. But as far as what I'm channeling for this collective at this time, there is separation. There is separation. It's, it's very unfortunate when you have two souls that really, really should be able to get this together and make it together that they really cannot come into alignment. And now we're in this period of sacrifice. Okay, and remember, this is not third party in the environment, but it's the third party energies that keep these wounds open. And when I say that, I mean these are old wounds that have not been healed yet because our masculine perpetuates that wound by not sharing everything, by withholding his feelings, by not being in his heart space. Okay, so few uh not future um connective energies very interesting four of wands and the moon it's hidden this union is hidden at this time okay first card out connective energy queen of wands this is our feminine what about the queen of wands three cups right she does want union she does want happiness she does want celebration i said what about the three of cups the magician Okay, she wants to manifest union. Remember, she got three of wands with the three of cups here. She wants to manifest union. She wants to manifest happiness. She wants to manifest anything but this pain, right? She wants, in this connection, six of swords. They want to move out of this defeated energy, out of this conflict, five of wands. But right now, they're working hard. Eight of pentacles. They're working hard on themselves to achieve their wishes, nine of cups. We want to move forward, knight of cups, in love but a healed love, temperance, 
okay? The Queen of Coins, Queen of Pentacles, who is our Divine Feminine, is in Hermit mode right now. She's not, she's not wanting to be with him. She's still discovering and healing wounds, okay? And that is what continues to also suspend the connection. She's got to break down the Shadow Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords energy, just like he has to get out of this period of not taking action when he says something. And then the last card out is success, six of wands. Six of wands, with what? Eight of wands. There will be, at some point, successful movement forward, but only when we work hard, eight of pentacles, when we continue to master the lessons. Master the lessons. Yeah, guys, I don't know. It's, it's a challenge, but, you know, I really got to say for the feminines who walked away and honored themselves and are in pain and perhaps disappointment because they had to, you had to do this because it was a cycle of emptiness. It was a cycle of I'm giving you half a sandwich instead of a whole sandwich, okay? I'm giving you half of me, not all of me when you were giving all of you and then some. It was just unequal. And when he starts to give you what appears or feels like all of him, then he takes it away or he, or he gets stuck and she's just done with that cycle. And so right now, got the hanged man a lot. We got the hanged man here in the connection. We got the hanged man here in the connection here. And we got the hanged man for him in his environment. This connection must be sacrificed at this time in order for alignment and progression and movement forward in the future. All right. If you want to book your own personal reading with me, go to queenalight1111.com. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye.